Hello everyone, my name is John, and today I have some giant FNAF movie news to share with you. So the first FNAF movie came out October 27th, and it was a giant success, and we knew that there was probably going to be a trilogy of movies. But what we didn't know was how soon the second movie was going to come out, and I think it may be coming out sooner than you think. We heard a while ago that filming for this movie was supposed to start in July of this year, but we haven't really heard anything about that since. Maybe it's been delayed, we don't really know, we haven't heard anything official yet, but it feels like Scott and Blumhouse are trying to push these things out once every year, year and a half. And it seems like they're on schedule to do that because Jason Blum just tweeted this. Jim Henson's Creature Shop is working their magic again. We aren't sure what they're working on, but we know it will be great. So obviously, he does know what they're working on. They're working on the FNAF 2 movie, and Jim Henson's Creature Shop is back making the toy animatronics for the FNAF 2 movie. And we're gonna deep dive into this image because there's more than one animatronic in this image and I'm so excited to talk about it. But first, since I haven't talked about it in a video, I will be signing this print live on stream on Saturday. You only have a few days left to get it. I haven't done merch in over two years, so I thought I'd mention it in a video just so everyone gets to know about it if they want one. If you want a print signed by me live on Saturday on this channel, the link is in the description. Anyways, let's deep dive into this image. Okay, so this is the image. And first of all, we need to point out the shirt, the spring trap shirt with the turntail art. It looks amazing. And second of all, this person is working on on what appears to be and what most definitely is Mangle. Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is going to be real, and I'm just wondering if Mangle's gonna climb on the ceiling. I wanna see Mangle climb on the ceiling chasing Josh Hutcherson across the pizzeria. I wanna see that. So obviously this is like a one-to-one -one replica of Mangle from FNAF 2. We got the feet, we got the different feet, like the endoskeleton FNAF 2 feet. This is like a toy animatronic foot. This is like the Endo 02 foot, I should say. And it looks like they're gonna do like a tri pod mechanic to make it stand up because Mangle's just like an amalgamation of a bunch of parts. As you can see over here, you see Mangle's head, but it's flipped the other way. We can't see the front. And you can see a bunch of like toy animatronic hands over here. And then we got this weird like bent microphone over here, which I think is like one of Mangle's eyes that's like separate from the rest of the head. Um, but it's probably just unsculpted, unfinished right now. I have no idea if you know what that is. Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, we shouldn't take everything as finalized. It's unpainted. It looks like this is probably unsculpted. This is just a work in progress, obviously. But yeah, this is Mangle's jaw over here, which looks pretty one-to-one. -one. But the secret animatronic in this image is down here to the left. Obviously, you can see a foot. You can see a bunch of like ear pieces. You can see maybe like a chest or a back part. And this animatronic is standing normal. And if you go all the way up to the head of the animatronic down here, right here, this is Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie is also being made for this movie, which is crazy. I mean, this is Toy Bonnie's hand, probably. This is Toy Bonnie's ear parts. This is Toy Bonnie's like front chest plate or back, uh, Toy Bonnie's foot. I'm so excited, I'm gonna lose my mind. Seeing these animatronics being made in real life is surreal. Like it's it's unbelievable. And they're doing such a good job and I'm, I'm so glad they're doing them one-to-one -one with what they looked like in the games. Also over here, some secret stuff over here, you can see uh, little signs that says, original Bonnie costume from Five Nights at Freddy's, original Chica costume from Five Nights at Freddy's, and you can see behind his arm, Bonnie's foot. And I think the original animatronics are here because I think that's going to be the withered animatronics. I think they're just going to wither the animatronics that we saw in FNAF 1, which may or may not confirm or deny anything for the lore because there's a lot of debate if the withered animatronics, if there was an unwithered version of the withered animatronics, or if it was just the FNAF 1 animatronic designs back then in like 1985. We don't know. Withering the FNAF 1 animatronics could also just be a budget thing. Like, they probably don't want to make brand new animatronics, but make them look a little bit different. It's like, that's a lot of money just to change the design a little bit. And I think as far as like the, the average movie goer, it would be better for like consistency to have the same animatronics, but withered. You know what I mean? And I think maybe if Scott could go back and remake FNAF 2, he would probably make the withered animatronics look 
more like the FNAF 1 animatronics? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not Scott. I don't know. There are other things in the mix that could be the reason for this, like budget, like scheduling, anything like that. And up here on the right, you can see like a tie-dye plushie that's face down and it's sleeping right now or, or it's dead. And then you see a bunch of endoskeleton parts, which could be for Mangle, but they don't necessarily look like Mangle's animatronic parts. And then you see one of the gears from the Freddy, uh, sh the Shred uh, Freddy chair, if you know what I'm talking about from the first movie. Maybe there's going to be like another one of those, but with a different animatronic. If this is a prequel, maybe we're going to see a cleaner version of that Shreddy chair. But I kind of do think this is a sequel because if Josh Hutcherson is really coming back, I, I, I want to know what the reason is going to be for him to want to go back to this pizzeria. Like, why would he want to go back to a different pizzeria? Maybe it's like he wants to save more of the animatronics. I have a feeling that it's going to be something like Abby is going to wake up one day and be like, oh my gosh, there's more kids that are trapped. We need to save more kids. I have more friends out there, friends, and it's going to lead Mike and Abby to a different pizzeria and a new adventures. I don't know. So yeah, the toy animatronics, Mangle, and probably the withered FNAF 1 animatronics are being made real in real life, which is unbelievable. I'm so excited for this movie. No word on a release date yet, but if I had to guess, it's probably early next year. Maybe if they work super fast late this year, but I kind of doubt it. But I hope Scott and Blumhouse take their time and have fun making this movie because we'll have fun watching it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.